Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Shelby TV Sports Special. I'm Tim Meyer, along with Dominic Santina. And tonight, we're at Eisenhower High School, or Barney Swinehart Field, for an Eisenhower home opener against the Warren Cusno Patriots. And Dominic, tell us a little bit about those Patriots. Well, the Patriots come in off a 2-7 and seven season last year. And they started this season off with a 47 to seven loss against Warren Woods Tower. Now Warren Woods Tower has been an up and down program throughout their history, but the last two seasons they've gone nine and two and eight and three. So a program that's definitely on the up. So an unfortunate loss for Cousineau, but one of the big takeaways from that game, they had five total turnovers. They lost four fumbles and threw one interception. The defense did have two takeaways, but still, when you are negative three in the turnover differential, it's not going to help your case. Absolutely not, and the Eisenhower Eagles uh, dropped a tough one at the kickoff classic last week against Birmingham Brother Rice. Could not get on the board, had opportunities, could not get on the board. Uh, Rice scored on a short field. Uh, hopefully, the Eisenhower offense will perk it up a bit as Coach Smith is uh, anxiously awaiting to see how they will do. The Eagles are going to kick off to the Patriots. Uh, deep for the Patriots, number nine, Demario Young. You're going to want to watch out for him, as well as uh, number three, Chris Bruce. Kicking for Eisenhower will be uh, number 97, and that's Luke Griswicki. Has pretty good leg. Let's see here, kicks one high. It's not too deep, and at 10, Bruce will take it. And he's up to the 15, to the 20, and he's hit right there by Eisenhower's uh, number 32. That is Brandon, uh, Brandon uh, Warner, and he makes a nice tackle. Staying in his lane. Yeah, the return there looked, never really got any momentum, kind of looking for some running room, and Ike did a good job there of filling their lanes and getting down there in a hurry to stop him for not that big of a return. Opening up a quarterback for the Patriots will be uh, Watt, um, Watt Hudson. Wyatt Hudson, I'm sorry, not Watt. Uh, no, they're doing the Wildcat. They get it off to, oh, get it out there to uh, number three, um, Chris Bruise, and he is bruised by Eisenhower on that tackle. Yeah, not the way the Patriots wanted to start that game right there. That's going to be a loss of about six yards on the carry. That's going to make it second down and uh, 16 for the Patriots. Wyatt Hudson there, man in motion. Uh, we got, he's going to take off or give it to Demario Young. Demario Young going to take it. He got a couple yards, but they got a flag out there. And I believe that looks like uh, maybe a legal procedure. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what it is here. But definitely trying to go around the end there. Got a couple yards, but no big gain. And that obviously will be negated if this is a penalty against them. So what do we got? Looks like Ike declined the penalty, so it'll be second down, or third down, excuse me. Should be third down, and uh, looks like about 14. Ball is on the 17-yard line. Ah, sorry, it's just over the 15. Demario Young gonna take it, trying to bull his way for the first down. He'll get some good yardage, but uh, he will be Short of that, in on that tackle there for the Eagles. Steve Nadolski in there. Eagles, a very fast defensive unit. And we'll see uh, if they can get some offense going to kind of give those uh, give those guys on defense a little boost. Now, that was about a six yard gain there for Demario Young. It's gonna bring up fourth down though. Know. Patriots missing a player. Here he comes, big number 70. Shane Lynch going to come out there. 
Nadalski deep for Eisenhower. Punts a liner a bit. Nadalski's going to field it at the 43. He's up to the 50, to the 45. Now he cuts over to the 40, 35, 30. Man to beat, oh, and he got him. And that was the kicker, number 23, Darren Francis with the tackle. But And it looked like a touchdown saving tackle, Anthony, uh, Dominic. Yeah, it was, and a great job there by Eisenhower on their blocks and a great cutback there by number four, Nadolski. And Ike's going to take over right where Cousineau ended their last drive. So a punt that really goes back for zero yardage, and Ike will take over deep in Cousineau territory. Rastic Hugh at quarterback and uh, trying to anticipate the snap count was Chuck Willis and he's going to be offside on the defense and it'll be five yards so it'll be first and five for Eisenhower. Seth Kobeck in the backfield with Rastakue. You got Barker and Nadolski out of the wideouts, and Ives is a slot. Now he comes in motion, fake to him, take it off as Rastakue smells the end zone. Touchdown, Eisenhower. That could have been, could not have been any easier for Rastakue there. Goes into the end zone pretty well untouched. And for Eisenhower, you had a big punt return and an easy one play drive for a touchdown. And pending the extra point, he'll have a 7-0 lead here with just under 10 minutes left to go in the first quarter. Now to kick the extra point for the Eagles, number 97, Drizwicki. Luke Drizwicki. Barker with a hold. The kick is up. And the kick is good uh, with... 9.52 left to play here in the first quarter. The score, the Eisenhower Eagles seven and the Warren Cousineau Patriots nothing. I think on that, uh, Dominic, on that opening drive uh, for Eisenhower, you'll see, the, you'll see the good blocking there. Fooled by the fake. They were fooled by the fake. They were fooled by the fake and a good job there by Rastiku kind of reading that play. Seeing the handoff wasn't going to be there and keeping it around the left end, and he did go untouched 18 yards into the end zone. Really two big plays, and that drive was only six seconds long, but he had a good punt return and a good play for that one-play drive for the offense. Uh, deep for Cusno. Waiting that Eisenhower kickoff will be number three, Mario Guitar, and the dangerous... I'm sorry, number th I'm sorry. Uh, number three, Chris Bruce, and number nine, the dangerous DeMario Young. There's Wiki to put a foot into it. It's another high one, it's kind of deep, but Young's gonna take it, and he's there at the half yard line. Gonna try to run it out, try to make a couple moves. The Eagles are there though, and they stop him. A whole host of Eisenhower guys, including number 24 in on that tackle, Matt Bean. Not the start that you wanted for Cousineau. You started at your own 20-yard line in the first drive, and now this one inside your own 15. Hopefully Cousineau can get some momentum and actually go forward on this drive. They only picked up three yards on their last drive before they had to punt it away. Looks like they're going to go with a more traditional set now as they were running, running some Wildcat their last time out. Oh, and jumping before the ball was snapped. That's going to be a legal procedure against Cousin. They got to kind of settle down a little bit and maybe not make so many mental errors. That's going to be first and 15, and... They're backing themselves up in a hole again. Yeah, they found themselves then at second and 16, their first drive. Now they're first and 15. They're not going in the right direction. So 
Demario Young with the carry. Stacked up there in on that tackle. Looks like number 22, Ian West. Really nowhere to go there for Demario Young. Like you said, good pursuit there for Ike. Solid defensive unit. They just pursued the football, kept in their lanes. And it's going to be about no gain there for Young. Second down and 15 for the Patriots. Wyatt Hudson over center. He's going to give to Young again. He gets a little bit of blocking, but still unable to shake that Eisenhower line. And in on that tackle is Rothau for Eisenhower, number 56. Still no gain there for DeYoung, and you're going to have to wonder here what they can do differently, maybe try to go to the air a little bit because the run game's obviously not there. And here's the replay, DeYoung trying to get the carry there and just nowhere to go. Cardamone in that tackle too as well, number 48 for Eisenhower, actually the initial person that met the ball, but good job on the left uh, side of that eagle line. So here comes Cusno with the third and 16 here. Eisenhower showing blitz. Little pitch out. Young's got it. And he rambles ahead. He got a few yards, got a couple at least. He's up to the 12, and I think the Patriots are going to have to punt. Not a good start here for the Patriots as we're going to take a replay here at this pitch to DeYoung. He puts a foot in the ground. He finds a little running room, but that pursuit by the Ike defense gets there. Four or five guys there in on the tackle. Number 34, Alex Jelly up in there right quick and forcing that play inside. So Nadolski is deep for the Darren Francis punt. Good snap. Kick is up. Eagles almost block it, but it's just a high one. Barely gets going. Hits an ice in our player, and the Patriots fall on it. What an unfortunate break there for Eisenhower. That'll go back to Cousineau. A sky-high punt. You're going to see it right here. It's going to go right off. Can't get the number right there, but it just goes right off the back of one of the Eisenhower players running down the field in punt coverage and bounces back to Cousineau, and they'll take back over at about the 24-yard line. And the alertness of Michael Haas for Cousineau recovering that loose ball. And it's first and 10. Cousineau, the ball is on their own 24. Best field position of the day for them. Yeah, we'll see here at their third opportunity if they can actually get some forward momentum here. The last two drives have been going in reverse. See if they can get some positive yardage on this drive. Now Lewis Carter's in the backfield along with Demario Young, and he's in a Wildcat. Now they give us the bruise. He's trying to get around the end, and he will not be able to do it. A beautiful tackle there by the Eagles linebacker, Anthony Cardamone. And that's a loss of a yard. Yeah, there you see it around the corners. Good job by Cardamone staying with him, not allowing number three. Burst Jr. there to get around the corner. And another loss for Cousin. I have to wonder what's going on offensively. And it looks like we got some rain, light rain showers out there on the field. May change the game plan a little bit. Well, I don't think we've seen a forward pass, so. Doesn't look like it should be raining, but it is. Second and 11. Jelly sneaking up and he gets Eagles in the middle of that line. Whistles blowing all over the place. And uh, Eisenhower in there with the. That one went to Lewis Carter. You can see a little extra activity after the play. Cousineau already a little frustrated not being able to get anything going here on offense. Now coming in, uh, the quarterback, uh, back in is uh, Watt Hudson, Wyatt Hudson. He's going to go under center. They'll see if he throws his ball. Eagles showing blitz. 
And a pitch out. Oh, and Demario Young got a little bit of running room. He cuts it back, but oh, the Eagles recover quickly. Yeah, over there, Jelly again over there for Eisenhower, along with uh, Nadalski in on that tackle. The Eagles uh, defense showing some real speed out there as they recovered on that play. It looked like Demario Young could have ran for a lot more. Yeah, Young had a bunch of running room, and his teammate there, Lewis Carter, I think the Young was a little frust frustrated there because Carter really wasn't paying attention with the player and just kind of running out the fake. If he would have picked up a block, they could have picked up another four or five yards potentially. Instead, Carter kind of turned around and was surprised DeYoung was behind him. And by that point, DeYoung had to put a foot in the ground and was tackled. Francis back to punt for the Patriots. Over his head, slips through his hands. Eagles running for it, dive on it and grab it. And grabbing that football is number 18, Brandon Ames. And you just could see that happening with Francis continually trying to wipe his hands and get them dry. And lo and behold, the snap was a little bit high and right through his hands. Eisenhower will take over at the Cousineau five yard line. And this game can't start much worse for Cousineau. They lost the matchup last year against Eisenhower 67 to nothing. And the way this game has started, it doesn't look like the trend is gonna change anytime soon. Dylan Doherty in at center. People say they were gonna play him in. Uh, number 20 on the carry there is uh, Stavanovic. Stokovic, excuse me. And Lewis Carter came up there and made the stop. Uh, looked like he may have had some room, but you'll see right here. Oh, he gets caught up too close to uh, the Eagles. Uh, number 15, Aiden Eves, who was trying to block him. I think he would have kicked that out a little wider. Second down for Eisenhower. Second and goal from just inside the five with 3.42 left to play here in the first quarter. Eagles lead at seven to nothing, trying to pad their lead. Rastakew roll out, pitches out to Stakovic, and he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Eisenhower. Three plays, two touchdowns for Eisenhower so far today, and it doesn't get much easier than that especially when you get a turnover on your opponent's five yard line. And in pending the extra point here, it could be a 14 nothing lead with 330, just over 330 left to go in the first quarter. There's Wiki on for the extra point attempt. Uh, Barker will hold. Looks like the shower has stopped. Because Wiki's kick is up, and it's good. So with 3.31 left to play here in the first quarter, the Eisenhower Eagles lead it 14 to nothing over the Warren Cousinow Patriots. And uh, the Eagles taking advantage of the short field position they've been uh, handed, and that's what you gotta do. Absolutely, take advantage when those opportunities present themselves. 14-0 lead, already a comfortable lead for the Eagles. For Cousineau, it couldn't have been as, you couldn't have dreamed up a worse start. And they actually have negative yardage in this game so far, and then a turnover on their own five yard line. Gotta figure something out, and we'll have to see, like we've mentioned, Tim, no, not even an attempt or thought at a pass. See if they go to that here in this, this next drive and try to turn things around a little bit. Oh, Drew's wiki set to punt. I believe it stopped raining. A little bit of a little bit teeny weeny sprinkle still left in the air. Deep for the Patriots. Looks like Brews and uh, I don't know if that's Demario Young back there. He might be hurt. Not that deep. Caught out there. Looks like it's uh, the Patriots number six. Desmond Brownlee, I believe. You're correct. Brownlee did return that punt there up to about the 26-yard line. Had a good return for 
for the Patriots. Again, best field position of the night. Uh, maybe second best, but at least they're not inside the 20. So you see Brownlee here come up. Kind of even ran into his own blocker there. He might have been able to get a few more yards, but as you mentioned, Tim, the best starting position for these Patriots here today, and a good job by Brownlee there as that ball almost went over his head into the end zone. But a good 20-yard return for the Patriots. I had DeMario Young at quarterback going to try to go around the right side. This wildcat kind of format, as you're going to see the replay here, and Young going to take it, fake the handoff, and keep it himself. And as soon as he grabbed it for himself and tucked it away, the Eisenhower defense was in the backfield to meet him. Yeah, Price and the Cardamone in there on the tackle. So it's going to be second and 13 for Cousineau. Their ball is on their own 22. And Young is going to remain in at quarterback. Now the give is to uh, number 34. Uh, that is uh, Lewis Carter. Uh, Lewis gets a few yards, got that loss back, and he moves it all the way up to just inside the 30-yard line at the 29. It'll be third down and six for Warren Husnell. That was even a late handoff there from Young to Carter. It wasn't sure if Young wanted to give it up or not, and he made the right decision to give it up there. It's a gain of seven yards. Wyatt Hudson again is back at quarterback. He's going to go over center. So no Wildcat here. Quick pitch to Mario Young. He's looking to throw. There's nobody open. Eagles got a bump, but Young's going to get the first down. Demario Young with a nice effort. He was going to throw that football, and nobody was open downfield. No, he thought about it. A little trick play there coming from Cousino. No one, no one open on the play. Great coverage by the Ike defense. And he, you'll see it right here. He drops back, thinks about it, sees two defenders in his face, and then has to tuck it and find some room, keeping his feet moving down the right sideline, able to get just past that first down marker. And it's the first first down for this Cousino offense. And they're up to their own 36-yard line with a minute 20 left to play here in the first quarter. Eisenhower leads at 14 to nothing. Now, again, the Wildcat, you got uh, in the shotgun, I guess. We call him a quarterback, Demario Young. This time he hands it off to number two, Jeremiah Stevens. And he is just gang-tackled by that Eagle defense. And... Jelly in there, along with number seven, Jack Whitworth. You can see the replay right here, handing it off, trying to find some blockers, cuts it up in between a couple of his guys there. Chris Burst Jr. giving him a block, able to pick up a couple yards. It's going to bring up second down, though. Second down, and about, to, well, let's call it eight, seven. Call it eight. No, I'm wrong. It is seven. Second down and seven. Ball's on the Cousineau, 39-yard line. Might be the last play of the quarter here. DeMario Young over center. Gives it to Carter, makes a nice spin move over the 40, up to the 45, and a first down for the Patriots. That's just power running right there by Carter, putting his foot in the ground, keeping his feet moving and moving the chains for the, these Cousineau Patriots. He gets the handoff there, spin move to avoid a tackle, throws a man out of his way, breaks a tackle, breaks out of a couple tackles there, and just the power he has keeps his feet moving and is able to pick up the first down. That is the end of the first quarter of play. The score, the Eisenhower Eagles 14, the Warren Cousineau Patriots nothing. We'll be back with more football after this. Hey, Bobo. Do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look!
Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. And welcome back, folks. Uh, Eisenhower and Warren Cusno, the Eagles home opener here at Barney Swinehart. They lead it 14 to nothing, but the Cusno Patriots are driving here. There's a quick handoff in the middle and running very, very hard is number three, number 13, excuse me, that's uh, Willis Hicks. And Willis gets a couple yards, call it to three yards. It'll be second down and seven for the Patriots. They're starting to move the ball on the ground, uh, Dominic. Yeah, the running game's starting to take effect, but if you're Eisenhower, you have to think with uh, out Hudson in the game, they have not even attempted to try to throw a pass. So you'd almost have to think that you could go after the run game and try to keep it in effect. So far, though, Cousinoff starting to pick up some blocks and gain some ground. Well, Hudson actually ca is coming in as a tight end on the top of your screen here. And we got flags all over, all over the place here. You'll find out what that is. Looks like it's going to be a false start there, Tim. And that's what it is. It'll cost the Patriots five yards. Move them back to the 45, and they've had a few penalties tonight. I know it is a bit early in the season, but I'm sure that that drives uh, uh, head coach Tony Wright uh, cousin of crazy. Yeah, they had a couple. They've had two accepted, one illegal motion, one false start. They had a penalty earlier in the game that was declined when they were back in their own zone on their first or second drive. They've had at least three penalties here to start the game, which definitely kills momentum, and you never want to have your offense going in reverse. Now, uh, number 31, Dan Solkowski, is in at linebacker, and everybody remembers uh, his famous brothers, the Solkowski brothers. Mario Young in a shotgun. This time he is going to give it to uh, Jeremiah Stevens, and a nice tackle there. Eagles number number 54, Mark, uh, Mike Gardini on that tackle, you see it here. Nice job by Mike. Good pursuit there as we've seen all night long by the Eisenhower defense, three, four, sometimes even five guys to the ball carrier and you saw it right there in that tackle as well. No gain there for Stevens on the carry. Brings up third down. Oh, here we go, third down and 12. The ball is on the Patriot 45. They're going to have to hurry up. They're running a little bit late here. Uh, up to the line quickly. Demario Young is at quarterback. Carter is in the backfield with him. Eisenhower faking the blitz. And they give us to Carter, and he's running hard. He only gets up to, well, he put the ball on the 50, but I think they're going to mark it. Well, a little bit shy of the 50. It's going to be fourth down in any event. And uh, we'll see. Lee Cousineau is going to punt, try to get some of that field position game back. Yeah, if they when they punted away here, barring a big return by Eisenhower, this would be the first time that Eisenhower would start in their own end after taking over at the 20 and the five yard line of Cousineau on their two drives. Fighting for the Cousineau Patriots, uh, Darren Francis, I hope he dried his hands off or got something on his hands to grab the football. Nadalski is deep for Eisenhower. A little sidewinder kick, liner right to Nadalski. He picks it up, now he's looking to go wide. He is gonna go wide, trying to get around a man. He's up to the 40 and he's grabbed by the shirt and down he goes. And Willie Hicks got him on the shirt tackle. And it is going to be first and 10 Eisenhower, though, in good field position at their own 48. Well, Tim, they almost proved me wrong right there. A good return there by Nadolski. Almost takes it back into Cousineau territory. You'll see the return here and good vision. Gets a block right there right away on Carter. And he just goes to the far side of the field. That's where Cousineau's not staying in their return lanes. Buckley is able to be brought down by the 
his shirt. Otherwise, he, it might have been even more yardage and another deep drive, another deep possession drive that would have started deep in Cousino territory had he not been brought down right there. Uh, Tony Wright's going to call a timeout. Uh, he's going to talk it over. I don't know what it is he wants to say, but apparently he's talking to the officials and not his team. But, uh, they're discussing something down there, something he saw out there he didn't like, I believe. And, and it might be that Eisenhower had too many men on the field. He saw for the Eagles scampering off was a Matt Bean. And uh, he did not get off before the snap was uh, made. And so I think that's what Tony caught. And he's pleading his case over there. Yeah, lengthy discussion discussion there over there on the Cousineau sideline. You see it on your screen there. Well, we're going to be set for play here as Eisenhower will take over at the 49-yard line of their own. Now we're asked to cue. In the shotgun, he's got Sakovic in the backfield. Pitches it to him. sakovic has got some running room. Cuts it up at the 50. And wrapped up there. Some extracurricular activity downfield <laughs> as uh, Ethan Barker was uh, tagging up there. It looked like with Bruce way downfield, like 20 yards downfield. <laughs> so here we go, second down and four, gain of six for Tefkovic. That goes Rescue, flag flying. Now he was going to throw it, now he's going to tuck it and run it. He's up inside the 40, got a first down, forced out there by number three, Chris Bruce. But let's see what the flag's all about. I could hear some Eisenhower fans in the stand yelling for a timeout. So Tim, have to wonder, maybe if it's almost the same thing as we saw Cousino there arguing about too many men on the field possibly or something with the formation. I have to say maybe it's the formation. Maybe they didn't have enough receivers on the line. I see Rats to keep tucking it in there. So they're going to finally settle on the illegal procedure. And yes, Eisenhower and holding against Cusno, so the penalties will cancel. And they're going to repeat second down. And, you know, that may be the reason that Rasekou tucked that ball in. Yeah, uh, possibly could this be. This guy was being held downfield. Looked like he wanted to go deep. He did look like he wanted to go deep. And maybe, you know, he knew that he had a flag on his side as well. So being the smart QB that he is, just said to tuck it. And if he got yards out of it, that so be it. But don't take a chance. There's a blitz by the Patriots. Now he's... Swamped under and a blitz there by uh, number 56 for the Patriots. That's uh, Michael Haas, who recovered the punt uh, fumble. And it is going to be a loss of six. Yeah, Rastikew, it looked like it was supposed to be an option there. And so that, uh, his running back there did not follow him in the formation, or it looked like that's what Rastikew thought because he turned around to pitch it. Nobody was there. When he turned around to pitch it, that's when he just decided to tuck it and take the sack. Bring up a long third down. Sefcovic is in the backfield with him. Rescue to throw. Dump it off to Sefcovic. We got a flag down on the field. Sefcovic's got the first down. He's to the 30, the 25, 20, 15, and finally knocked down there by the Patriots number six, Desmond Brownlee. But we got a flag on the uh, far side of the field from the press box here. Left. Holding against, uh, it looked like holding against Warren Cousin. It is. Here's the replay right here. Rastikew just dumping it off there, just a little screen. 
And right here is where Cousineau is going to make a mistake. Number three, that's Burst Jr. He tries to strip the football instead of just wrapping the ball carrier up. And that allowed Eisenhower to pick up about another 25 yards instead of bringing him down back at about the 40. Uh, it's first and 10 from the 11-yard line. Seth Kovic gets the handle again. Cuts behind the offensive line blocking. And he is up to the six yard line. Tackle there by the number four, Andre uh, Wins. Here goes Seth Kovic going to get the handoff right up the middle. A little bit of a gap for Carter's. One of them in there on the tackle brings him down at about the six. Again, Seth Kovic in the background. Backfield is second and six. There's a pass into the end zone, and it's dropped out there. Nadalski had it, was in and out of his hands. That goes incomplete. It's going to be third down. And uh, See the replay right here from Rastiku. Just a little bit of a back shoulder throw, just about a step or two behind Nadalski there. And that's why he wasn't able to hold on to it. Wonder, have to wonder if the ball maybe is just a little bit slippery as well. The reason why Rasky is a step off and that ball behind Nadolski. Oh, here we go, third down. The Eagles can get a first down inside to two. Should probably get to the one. Here comes a blitz by Kuzna. Now Rasky busts through there. Looks like he got a first down, though. No. We'll see. Either way, you'll see the replay here by Rastiku. Thought about pitching it, but then just finds a gap. Takes it up the middle. He does get first down yardage. I was going to say, either way, even if they didn't get it, you have to go for it. It's fourth and one at the one. And the clock is running. Got five minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Eagles lead it 14 to nothing over the Patriots. And they have first and goal from the, well, say just uh, inside the two, almost to the one. It's a jumbo package in there as West joins the backfield. Nadalski, West, and they give us to Sefkovic and touchdown, Eisenhower. Oh, a one yard run by Nick Sefkovic. And the Eagles extend their lead. It's his second touchdown of the game. And that comes with about uh, 4.41 left to play here in the second quarter. Doesn't get much easier there if you're Seth Kovic on that carry. Found a hole on the left side, ran through it, didn't get touched until he really stopped in the end zone. Extra point there, kicked by Grzewicki. And it's good and it's 21 to nothing. At that time, uh, the Eagles marched a little bit. They didn't have that short of a field. You see Sefkovic going for the end zone. Mack a little bit late on filling that gap. Yeah, that one a 51-yard drive, so still not the longest drive possible, but compared to their two other drives, there was an 18-yard touchdown, and their second touchdown started at the Cousineau five-yard line. Cousineau made Eisenhower work a little bit harder to get that touchdown. Eisenhower looks like they had a tough time trying to figure out who's going to go on that kickoff team. Finally well, got enough guys. It's Seth Kovic, he scores a touchdown, but he's still got to go out there and do some work on the uh, kickoff, on the special teams, rather. That's the one wonderful thing about high school football. You're not just a running back. You can play anything. You can be on special teams, defense, and, of course, your offensive positioning. And Seth Kovic there, he's a star with two touchdowns so far today, but... Still got to go do his man as a kickoff specialist. Um, Bruce uh, and uh, number six, Brownlee, are deep for Cousineau. 
Well, this time he got a hole of that one, but it's going to drop uh, to Brownlee at the three. Brownlee trying to go around the end, and he's knocked out of bounds there by Whitwer. And initially uh, coming up and getting that tackle was uh, Seth Kovic, the guy who scored a touchdown. He's the first guy to meet him, and Whitwer finished him off. And it's first and 10, Cousino from their own, uh, what are we going to call that, the 18, 19 yard line? 18 and a half yard line, I don't know. Whitwer came and delivered quite a pop here on Brownlee. Seth Kovic's going to slow him up, but a good shot there by Whitwer, knocking Brownlee out of bounds. And Cousino will take over for their fifth drive of the game. To Mario Young, lone man in the backfield. Like a quick snap there, and I, I'm sorry, that was uh, number 15, Wyatt, Wyatt Hudson. Now he moves a ball about three yards. He's second down at seven. <laughs> There's six different carriers so far for Cousineau to have a rushing attempt. Hudson there taking it into his own hands with a little QB keeper right up the middle. Hudson there, and they're in the eye. Carter and Demario Young. Give us to Carter, and he's met right there. Stacked up by the Eisenhower Eagles. Carter so far for Cousineau being the most productive ball carrier. But he was met right there at the line of scrimmage. You're going to see the handoff. It's Russell number for 56, yeah. Yeah, Russell there on the tackle. And Russell. Carter there ran into his own lineman. That's why he had nowhere to go. Now they're calling it no gain, so it'll be third down and seven. Three minutes left to play here in the second quarter. Eisenhower leading it 21 to nothing. Mario Young. Now he's going to be in a Wildcat, and he's got Carter there with him. He gives to Carter again. He's churning those legs, but he just can't get him going as the Eagles get in there. Ian West in there for Eisenhower. Uh, kind of slow him up. It's going to be fourth down and lost a yard, Carter did. Nice play by West. Let's see it right here. Yeah, Demario Young, kind of a late handoff there, and it's still Seems like the communication between DeMario Young and Carter just isn't quite there. And it might be on Young to just not sure if he should keep it himself or hand it off. And that's what affected Carter's carry right there. Darren Francis is about set to punt here. Nadolski's deep at his 50s. Had a couple nice returns tonight. Last one return was uh, from a sidewinder punt by Francis. This one's over his head again. He picks it up though, and he's just going to run out of the end zone for a safety and a uh, right decision there. Yeah, very smart decision there for Cousineau. Number 23, Darren Francis, the punter. Instead of giving up. Great field position to Ike or letting them have a shot at a touchdown. He's willing to take the safety, give them two points, and punt it back to him. Do you give that credit to the defense of Eisenhower? I don't know. And the defense did a good job of pushing them back and getting them bad field position, but. Francis is going to come out there, and I, I think he's going to tee it up. Looks like. I think he wanted to, but I don't think they're going to let him. Oh, still got the tee out there. What? 
I don't know if they're quite sure what's going on here. Oh, Mike's yeah. defense moved up. Now he is going to tee it up. Hmm. Well, this will be interesting. Kandalski and uh, Kovic are deep uh, for the Eagles. They're on the 28-yard line, but we'll see here where Francis kicks it. He does kick it pretty good. Nadalski, a line driver at the 28 to the 35 to the 40. Sees some room up the middle. Now he cuts up the middle to the 45 to the 40. He's still on his feet. Finally dragged down there by number 18, Logan Tucker. I just have a feeling tonight, Tim, he's going to break one before the night's over and get a return touchdown. He's had three, four quality returns against this Cousin O team. He's got great vision on his returns, great blocking. He put the foot in the ground, changes direction a couple times there. Breaks a tackle, drags a man for a while, and was a shirt pull away from returning it all the way. Well, the Eagles uh, got a chance here with a minute 45 left. Rasky to throw. Now he's being swamped under, and down he's going to go. Demario Young. Second down at 12. Not the loss that you wanted to take there, but maybe his receivers were covered or something. Young with the nice tackle there. Grabbed a hold of the shirt and got him. There's one of the guys in our great quarterbacks, Joe Youngblood. Played for the Eagles back in the late 80s and for Central Michigan. And had beat Coach Chris Smith Spartans, although Chris wasn't playing for him at that time. Seems like every time Rastiku kind of drops back tonight to throw, just a little unsure in his decision making of what he should do with it. He's going to pitch it here. Oh, nice move by Seth Kovic. He's trying to cut back for more yardage, and he's up to the 35, and a little bit of a late hit there. Uh, see it here. Forces a pitch there. Here's Seth Kovic right here. I get that he's trying to get extra yardage, but at this point in time, just go down. No need to try to, to cough up the football fighting for an extra yard or two. Especially with the halftime coming up and a 23-point lead, just take your yardage, go down with it, buy yourself another play. Eagles uh, call timeout with 44 seconds left to play here in the half. And they're at the Patriot 36, trying to add on to their lead. But, uh, or Astic, uh unable to get any kind of time back there. And we should mention that the Eagles have lost a few starters on that offensive line and playing with some guys that, well, basically your second string line. Forty-four seconds left to go here in the half. Probably got about two, maybe two plays left. To give the Seth Kovic a. He's close to a first down. He tackle there by the number 73, Chuck Willis. And it looks like short of the first down. It's a uh, fourth down decision. A field goal would be about 46 yards, maybe. Again, Eisenhower going to call another timeout. So. Clock malfunction. Let's see how much time is left. Not quite sure here, Tim. What, what you, what to go with? It's a pretty long field goal attempt. I guess in my mind, I'd almost take a shot to the end zone just, just to try it. I mean, to no hurt. Well, 38.6 seconds left. So we'll see. The Eagles get a first down. They'll stop the clock. If they don't, Cosno will take over. The clock will stop them. Again, Sefkovic in the backfield. 
Brassic you looking. He's got a man deep. Throws it up there. He's not there. Touchdown, Eisenhower. Aiden Knives. Ran under that one. I was a little unsure. I hadn't looked at the clock before I made that comment, but they made me look pretty smart in that decision making there. And the young sophomore runs under that football and uh, Rastikew with a beautiful pass for the touchdown. And the kick is up. And it is good by number 97, Luke Drizwisk. 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 Hold on, I got it right. I have it right the first time. Driz Drizwicky. Sorry. Sorry, Luke. Doing a good job, though, tonight. Four extra point kicks. Eisenhower now leads it 30 to nothing with 33 seconds left to go in the half. And saw that touchdown pass. It's one of the things Coach Smith was looking for. Out of young Blake Rastakew. And he threw that perfectly. Yeah, it was a perfect spiral through the air there. And he made up for that pass he had earlier near the end zone to Nadolski. That one thrown perfectly to number 15, Aiden Ives, and a reception. And now another touchdown on the board for Ike. Oh, here comes the ambulance for something. Something happened out here. Ambulance coming around here. Unless they've got to get out on a run. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah, he's going to come around this way. Yeah. Let's see something. Uh, No, here's the kickoff by Drizwicky. Taken there by Brownlee to the 15. Hops a little bit, gets up to the 20, and he is smacked hard there by the Eagles number 20, Sefcovic, and goes down. You see the return here on replay, and it's Brownlee again on the return. Waits a second, good hesitation move there. And Sokovic all over the field here tonight, making another tackle there on the return. Really? Right, here we go, first and 10, Cusno. 26 seconds left to go here in the first half. Carter from the Wildcat takes it himself. Makes a couple of moves, hit there, and uh, finally dragged down by the Eagles at number 18, Brandon Ames. Gain of eight for Carter. Maybe the last play of the second quarter. Five seconds left. We'll see if Cosno can get a playoff here. They will. Carter again, going to take it himself. Tries to get around uh, the Eagles, number 54, Mike Gardini, but he would not have any of it. Down he goes, and that's going to end the first half of football here at Barney Swinehart Field. The score, the Eisenhower Eagles 30, the Warren Cusno Patriots nothing. We'll be back with second half action right after this. There's just one place where students are students first and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. One fifty over 90. 180 over 111. 160 over 110. I had a stroke. This is what high blood pressure looks like. You might not feel its symptoms, but the results from a stroke are far from invisible or silent. 
If you've come off your treatment plan, get back on it or talk with your doctor to create an exercise, diet, and medication plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. If I would have followed a treatment plan, I would not be in this situation. All right. I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this Eisenhower Eagle Warren Cusno football opener here from Barney Swinehart Field. My name is Tim Meyer, and I'm here with Dominic, Dominic Santino. Dominic Santino, I'll get it by the end of the year, I promise. <laughs> Dominic, the Eagles leading 30 to nothing. Can you give us a little scoring recap? Yeah, it all started at the 9.52 mark in the first quarter when Rastakew took it into his own hands after a good punt return by Nadolski for an 18-yard touchdown run. At the 3.31 mark in the first quarter, Seth Kovic had a three-yard touchdown run himself. Then it was the second quarter with 4.41 left to go. Seth Kovic had a one-yard rushing touchdown. The next points on the board would be by a botched snap by Cousino, and instead of trying to punt it away, they just ran it through the back of the end zone for a safety. And finally, right before halftime, Rastikou found Ives in the end zone for a 39-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots kick off to begin the second half, and the Eagles bring it up to the... 35 yard line. That's where they'll start the second half of play. Be on the right, left hash for Eisenhower. They get all set there. Tim, I tried to keep a little bit of stats myself here. From what I gathered in all four drives for Eisenhower, they covered 162 yards, but all four drives ended in the end zone for them. So very productive drives. Nadolski's breaking it. He's to the 50 and over the 50. Finally run out of bounds there by uh, number 22 for the Patriots. That's uh, Gabe Hallman. Ran him out of bounds, but Nadolski with a burst, huh? Yeah, we've seen his speed all night on kick returns. Here we get it on a little end around there to the far side, a pickup of 11 yards. They're going to mark it right at midfield. Eagles first and 10 right at midfield, as Dominic says. Back to throw goes Rasiku. He's looking. He's got a man way deep out there. That's Ndolski. Can he get it? He's got it! And he falls down at the... Looks like the six yard line, they're gonna mark it to the five or the six, but it doesn't matter. 44 yards, you see it here. Yeah, Rastikiu starting to show off his arm a little bit. He went two for three in the first half and comes out firing here to start the second half. And a beautifully thrown ball there to Nadolski. And how about the start Nadolski's had here to the second half? They're going to say that he fell down when he caught the ball at the eight-yard line, and that's where the Eagles will have it. First and goal from the eight. Quick look inside. Touchdown, Eisenhower. That's Aiden Eves. Ives, rather. Excuse me. Aiden with his second touchdown of the day. And 
that was quick. The Eagles have struck. 10-49. Left to go in the third quarter. Eisenhower striking first here in the second half. The Eagles are missing a guy out there hustling out there on the field to join the got on the field just in time as number 97 Luke Drizwicki with the extra point attempt be the touchdown here Rasty Q just a beautiful throw right over the middle there quick little slant route and Ives with his second reception of the day they went 61 yards in a minute and 11 seconds that's their fifth drive of the game fifth one that ends in the end zone out there on the kickoff return team. Want to make sure they get out there, don't get the uh, referee upset. Brownlee and Bruce are the deep men for the Patriots. There's Wiki to kick it off. He's put it down to the one or two yard line every time. So, and they've been high kicks. Yeah, and Brownlee's been their main return guy. So we'll see if they send it to him once again here. Oh, he's got a good foot into this one. That may go to the end zone, and it does. There will be no return. Uh, the Patriots will start out first and ten with the ball on their own uh, twenty yard line. And it might do them just as well. That's about where they've been starting every drive here so far, at least in the first half. So they're going to start right where they have been. They have been moving the ball a little bit more in the last couple of drives. Let's see what they can do here to start the second half. And we have a running clock situation. It's 35 to nothing. So the clock will run. And depending on what the, the Patriots do. It will continue the run if they don't score. Yeah, and it did not look like Eisenhower was going to take their foot off the pedal either. Three quick plays to find themselves in the end zone, adding to that total. Now here's a handoff there to looks like uh, Mario Young. Eagles stop him really good, really quickly. He got about a yard gain, second down and nine. From what I got in the first half, the Patriots had 22 carries for just 45 yards. That's about two yards per carry. So Eisenhower really shutting down their run game. And other than that, Patriots haven't gone to much other. We haven't really seen them throw the football tonight. Well, Wyatt Hudson is in there over center, and he's you got Carter and Demario Young there in the backfield in sort of an eye position. Now he's back to throw, rolls out. And he's looking for Carter, poorly thrown and knocked down there by the Eagles number 54, Mike Gardini. It'll be third down and nine for the Patriots. Clock is running. It's under eight minutes and uh, 45 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Well, that was the first time that we have seen Patriots attempt a pass there. And for Wyatt Hudson, he was rolling to his right, really not even close to his intended receiver of Lewis Carter's. He really just kind of threw it out of bounds. Patriots go up to the line. A few people out there that had to get off. Walter Collins, number seven, on top of your screen is going to stand. And in the field comes uh, Jeremiah Stevens. Well, 
Carter throws for number seven, Walter Collins. It's uh, incomplete over his head. Looked like a lot of confusion there for Cousineau. Not really sure what they wanted to do. And they're running against time there. Had to get the play off. Left it in Carter to throw it. It was high and incomplete. Oh, it's fourth and nine. Looks like they're going to go for her. I mean, I guess might as well. There's not much more you can do. Punting it away is not going to help your situation. Not at all. Being rushed, Carter gets out of it. He's going to fire one down there. Stevens was down there, incomplete. Good coverage by Eisenhower. Back deep there, covering on that play was the number 86, uh, Sheridan Jackson. And uh, number 35, Roman uh, Moreno. Well, the Eagles are going to take over first and 10 from the 20 yard line. This will be the third time that the Eagles have taken over inside the Cousin 25. First two times, one was a rushing touchdown by Rastiku. Second one was Sokovic's one yard run. Give it to Sokovic. He got a hole up the middle, down to the 10 yard line. Looks like he's got a first down, and he does. You can see the handoff here and a gaping hole there on the strong side of the offensive line for the Eagles. Sokovic able to rush easily for those 11 yards and pick up that first down. So it is first and goal. Let's see what the Eagles call here. Rask, you got to hustle it up to the line. Let's see what he's going to do. And give it to Sokovic. He tried to get up the middle, but uh, right there to stop him is big number 73, Chuck Willis. Chuck's going to drop him for a loss. See Chuck here. He shoots the gap right there on the left side. You got people coming from both sides there. Blew that play right up in the backfield as Willis actually came from that right side. Sokovic really never had a chance on that play. Second down and goal from the 13. Cousin of showing blitz, here they come. Picked up. Raskew got to get out of it. Now he cuts back up. I, we're going to make a move to the 10, to the 5. And nailed out of bounds. I'll tell you what, he's going to get the nickname Crazy Legs Raskew. That kind of running. Looked yeah. like he had a guy. But yeah, Sokovic picked up a good blitzer right there, but then just not enough room. I thought he was going to be sacked right here, able to avoid a tackle. Then find some room down that far sideline. Stiff arms the guy before taking a big shot out of bounds. He actually lost the football, but he had stepped out of bounds before that happened. We got an injury on the other side uh, for Cosmo. Looks like uh, Andre uh, wins. He's down there off uh, off the field, but still uh, got an injury time out here. Just wanted to let the folks know out there in Shelby, Utica land that uh, at halftime we had a nice ceremony. Um, if you haven't noticed by now on the, your television screen, uh, there's a new turf down there on the field. And uh, thanks to the, all the people here in the community. Uh, we know that last year, I was taking a look at that field and it was, it had had it and, you know, it was kind of a danger. But now they got this nice new field and they've, uh, Decorated it nice with the Utica on one end zone and Eisenhower on the other. I think what I like about it best is the numbers. They sort of put shadows on it. You can see them a lot better, you know? Yeah. We got, it does look good. And we're going to take a look right here at the injury. 
Jackson number four just got, you know, he made the tackle, but boy. Kind of got rolled up on there at the end yeah. of the play. I think it might have been his own guy. Yeah, I believe it was number 18 there. Logan Tucker, they're kind of rolled up on him after shoving Rastiku out of bounds. Oh, here we go. Give us to Nadalski. He's going to make it. Touchdown, Eisenhower. What a way to stay on his feet there for Nadalski. Looked like they were going to stop him at about the line of scrimmage. He put his hand down to keep his balance, and he slips into the end zone. And that's another one of those where the Cousineau defense just not wrapping up, not finishing the play, and this one results in six points for the Eagles. And the Eagles, uh, Steven Nadalski making it uh, 44, 43 to nothing. There's Wiki on to try to kick the extra point with Barker holding. Oh, and the Patriots were coming. He got it off. Is it good? It is good. So with 349 left to play here in the third quarter, the Eisenhower Eagles uh, lead it 44 to nothing. Did not expect um, the Eagles to run it up this much so quickly. Yeah, even with the clock continuous, continuing to run here, the offense still hot and heavy here for the Eagles, keeping the pressure on that Patriot defense. And it was, the final score last year was 67 to nothing. These Eagles getting the win, and I looked back in history. Warren Cousineau has only won twice in the history of this matchup. This is the 14th year they played. Cousineau got the wins back in 83 and 84. Other than that, it's all been Utica Eisenhower. One of the few teams that Eisenhower has dominated in the state, but they've done a good job here against Warren Cousineau. Now here's a kickoff by Drizwicki. It's deep. It looks like Brownlee's going to take it at the one. To the 10, to the 15, and he's tripped up there nicely. A nice play by the Eisenhower Eagles. Number 35, that is. Reno. See him here. Watch. Yeah, Brown, Brownlee going to return that one and gets. Like you said, shoestring tackle there. Trips him up at his own 15. There's uh, Coach Sugamuso doing a little coaching there, and uh, I think he's going to give him some of that magic water. He's earned it tonight. And Bobby's been here for over 20 years, helping out with the Eisenhower Eagle program. Now keeping the ball is he? Quarterback number 15 uh, for the Patriots. That is uh, Wyatt. Yeah, Hudson's going to keep it right here around the right side. Just tuck it and pick up one of the biggest yardage plays of the game. 11 yards there. Brought down by number 21 in there, along with a couple other of the Eagles defenders. Twenty-one. Is, I can see why you shied away from pronouncing <laughs> that guy's <laughs> name. It's uh, Pozdrakiewicz. <laughs> I was oh, confident when I said it. Oh, the Eagles can't intercept it. Having a chance at that one was number 81, Carson Barrett. I was confident, Tim, before I went into that one, and then I saw it, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> we'll, we'll shy away from that one. Come on, your Detroit boys should be able to pronounce those names. You see this. Hunting season earlier for Duck, I'll tell you. And that throw right there by Hudson might be the reason we've only seen him attempt two passes here today. He's going to go over center. Again, Demario Young and Carter in the backfield. Carter had a couple nice runs. He's a hard running back.
pitch to Demario Young. He cuts up, tries to make a move on one man. He does. He busts one tackle. And moves up in uh, to about a three-yard gain as he He's up to the 32-yard line, so that's where the Patriots will go for a third down here. You see it right here. Look at that stiff arm. There's a violent stiff arm there from Young. Oh, he this is guy a big side. back. He is a big back. Young and Carter both, two very physical downhill runners for the Patriots. Just haven't got that run game completely going yet. The Eagles are jumping around on that line. What do we got? Timeout Patriots. They're going to talk this over on a third down and eight. Crucial third down and eight for them. And I'd like to remind you folks out there, uh, you want to support those eyes and our Eagles. They're going to be out at Chippewa Valley next week, and we'll get our look at the uh, last year's state champion. Looks like they've reloaded a little bit and uh, still have a high level of talent on that team. Yeah, Eisenhower got a good look last year at that Chippewa Valley team, not only in the regular season, but in the postseason as well. Fortunately, coming up short in that pre-district first-round game. It was a very hard-hitting affair, that's for sure. Um, they, as you say, the Eagles came up a bit short. But right, here we go. It's third down and eight. See what Hudson does. He's over center. Big Carter and everybody. Now he picks up. He's going to run with it, but he's not going to go far. Tackle there by number 56 for Eisenhower, Mike Rosso. Also in on that tackle is number 62, Justin Laban. Yeah, you're seeing the replay there. Hudson faked like he was going to drop back and throw it, decided to keep it, gain a couple yards. It's going to bring up a fourth down. We'll have to see if they decide to go for it like they did last time, deep in their own territory. Well, that's the end of the third quarter of play. The score, the Eisenhower Eagles, 44. The Warren Cusno Patriots, nothing. We'll be back with more football after this. There's just one place where students are students first and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. Hi, I'm your host, Smokey Cole Bear. Filling in for Smokey, because after 75 years of... Only you can prevent wildfires. Turns out there's much more to say. Nearly 90% of wildfires are caused by us humans being careless, dumping our used barbecue coals willy-nilly. Guess the song was wrong. We did start the fire. That's why I respect Mother Nature and her trees, whether coniferous or new car scented. Go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Shelby TV Sports Special. We're, uh, we're here at Barney Swinehart Field, where the Eagles lead the Patriots in their home opener, 44 to nothing. Carter back to throw on fourth down. He had a man open. Jeremiah Stevens, and he threw the ball behind him. But what do we got? Do we got a flag on the field? Yes, we do. I'm going to see the replay here real quick while we figure out that flag. Carter. Looks like it might have got tipped at the line of scrimmage. Came in there a little wobbly. That's why it could have been the behind the defender. Now the Eagles are going to take over on downs. They'll be at the Patriot 30. And it looks like a whole new group of offensive players. Ronnie uh, Nile will be at quarterback. He's number 16. 
Joe Rosso will be the running back, number 23. Pitch to Rosso, trying to get around the right side. He's being chased there, and he's going to be dropped uh, by Walter Collins for a loss. And they say probably back to the 33-yard line. Here's the replay here of the pitch. Good, good, pitch. good pursuit there by Walter Collins. Staying with number 23 there, Rosso. Brings him down for a three yard loss. He goes, <laughs> definitely look like the second string scout team unit. <laughs> got a re huddle. As you, Gary Paja and Dr. Popovsky there on the sidelines look on. Got to be pretty pleased, fellas. The beer will be tasting pretty good tonight after the game. There's a handoff. On his feet, contending to still move his feet is Rosso. Uh, he gets a lot of that yardage back all the way down to the 26-yard line where we'll be third down and six. There's that handoff, just finding room on that right side, finally being brought down by number 50, Shafau, on the tackle for the Patriots. Eagles better hurry up and run a play here. An aisle and a shotgun. A little bad exchange there. And I can tell you right now, that wasn't going to go anywhere. It's little number 86, Jackson Sheridan. Bobble in, look at him. Yeah, Bobble, they gave him no chance there. And all on top of that was that number 22 for the cousin of Patriots. That was Gabe Hallman. But fourth and long, Eagles going to still go for it. We'll see what happens here. Once that bobble happened there on that handoff, really blew up that whole play and turned it into an Super long loss instead of just a couple yards. Rosso again going to weave his way through, but he's not going to go anywhere as Carter got his mitts on him and slowed him up and Holman and everybody in there for the Patriots. Oh, it'll be over on downs to the Patriots. And they will start from their own 34-yard line, first and 10. Eisenhower leading at 44 to nothing. All right, I'm going to have a running clock down. It's seven minutes and uh, 45 seconds and counting. I know they uh, put their backups in, which is the right thing to do up 44 to nothing, but that's the first drive. Eisenhower has not found the end zone in as they turn it over on downs. Let the Patriots take over. Well, the Patriots have put a, a second string in there, but they don't have a lot of guys, uh, not as many guys as Eisenhower on the sidelines. Even with all the walking mooted at Eisenhower, they still have more players, way more players than Cousineau. Oh, what do we got? Take a substitution there. Trotting on the field for uh, Eisenhower, number six, Nick Wilk. Uh, we have a, a timeout. Yeah, the Eagles took their first timeout. Getting things straight on defense. Yeah, you know, you, you get everybody in there in this situation, and it's a bit chaotic, and you got to have guys that play certain positions. And it's not so much that coaches want to look at them in those positions. It's just making sure, look, your defensive end is your responsibility. You're in the backfield. Regardless for either team, I know you mentioned it, Tim, that Patriots not too deep, but it's a good opportunity for both teams to really get some younger guys in there, get them some experience. Handoff to Looks like Brownlee. No, it's Young. Demario Young with the carry. And he gets four yards. 
Second down and six. Ah, they're making some substitutions now. Uh, yeah, Young, one of them heading off to the sidelines. Oh, look out. Busting through there, number 32 for the Patriots. Luke Crowd, he got the ball up to the 45. Hudson still in at quarterback. Keeps it, still has a ball. Tried to get it ahead, now he throws it out of bounds. The Eagles have it, they say they have it. Seeing on your camera shot right there, Hudson in disbelief of what just happened, and it's gonna be a turnover. They're gonna call it a fumble, or? I heard someone oh. say over here, we're gonna take a replay. It sounded like he might have pitched it ahead is what somebody said, we'll see. Well, then that would be an incomplete pass. Yeah, he kind of tried to shovel pass it there. And they're gonna call it a fumble though. The Eagles pick it up. I didn't catch the number who, uh, from Eisenhower got that football. I think it's number 20, 26 of Eisenhower who got that and that is uh, Gerard Nataka, and here's a handoff to Ross. Oh, no. Now's going to take it, and he'll get up to the 39 uh, 44 yard line of the Patriots. He was slung down there by Gabe Holman making the tackle. Gabe's been coming on as of late in this fourth quarter, starting to throw his, uh, throw his weight around a little bit, making some tackles. 20 left to play here in the ball game. Eisenhower leads it 44 to nothing. They have the ball on the Patriot 45. Nile in the shotgun. Give it to Rosso. He's got a little opening. It's over the 40. And down to the 36 yard line he goes. Showing a little quick burst there. You see it right here, Rossau gonna get the handoff right up the middle, gaping hole. Good job there by the center guard Gap. Giving him some room to run all the way down to the 35, now up tempo. Anil gonna take it, cuts it upfield, still on his feet, out of the 30 yard line. Inside the 30 to the 29 goes. Anil, they're gonna mark him though, he stepped out. At the 30, yeah, about the 30 and a half yard line. Uh, 30, okay, he's gonna mark it there. The guys always try to fool me. Second down and four yards to go here for Eisenhower. Three yards make it. All, all of a sudden, the second string for Eisenhower picking up steam. Well, Boss handoff here. Here comes Anali, he's headed to the 20. Tries to put a little speed on there and down he'll go at the 19 yard line. Tackle there by Cuzno's uh, number 22. There's that guy, Gabe Hallman. Hauls him down. See the replay here. Looked like a miss handoff, didn't it? Yeah, he pulled it out a little late, and then he's just going to run to the near side, try to make a juke move, and just gets brought down by number 22, Holman, who's been all over the field here of late. Well, it's first down for Eisenhower. The ball's on the 19. Also, with the handoff, he's got a big hole up the middle. And Rossow gets it all the way down to the... 
seven yard line. So it'll be first and goal for the Eagles, but time is running out here, 50 seconds and counting. Eisenhower gonna try to probably slip one more play in here. Rosso had a big opening there thanks to that guard tackle, strong side gap. Looks like we're just gonna take a knee to end it. Yep, and that's what he does. And that will end it. So the Eisenhower Eagles continue their dominance over the Warren Cusno Patriots. They win their home opener. Um, and even their record at one and one by uh, 44 to nothing score. And I have a little scoring uh, recap. Dominic, uh, kind of give us a little idea how we got. Yeah, it uh, all started with Rastecue starting it off in the first quarter with an 18 yard run. Seth Kovic with the three yard touchdown run. And then he had another nice little one yard run to start the second quarter. A botch snap for a safety by the Patriots made it 23 to nothing at that point. Ike got one more touchdown before the half from Rastecue to Ives, a 39 yard touchdown pass. In the second half, not as much offense. It was Rastecue to Ives again early in the third quarter with an eight yard touchdown pass. And then Nadolski ended the day with a three yard touchdown run with 349 left to go in the third quarter. And the Eisenhower Eagles victorious tonight for all our camera crew, our, our guys in the truck, and for Dominic Santina. I'm Tim Meyer saying thank you for joining us. The final score, the Eisenhower Eagles 44, the Warren Cusno Patriots nothing.